It's going to be a quick lesson on event listeners where we can listen for the DOM content loaded as well as the body loaded. And if we are placing our JavaScript code somewhere other than just before we're closing off the body tag, if we're placing it within the head, then you can use the DOM content loaded to run a function whenever the page loads. And then we can interact with the page content. The DOM content loaded will load before the document body onload method, but body onload won't load if we move the JavaScript file, it will throw an error because this statement still needs the document to be ready in order to be interacted with. The JavaScript code, if you move your script file above where the element creation is done, so let's do a quick example of it, where we'll select a page element using the document, select the page element with a class of output, make an update to the text content of the page element to say, hello world, now let's select the JavaScript file and we're gonna move it into the head section of the HTML file. So what happened is that we ended up throwing an error. Reason for this error is that we're trying to access a page element before it's been loaded into the DOM because the script tag is now up at the top. So it's gonna run the JavaScript code when it encounters it. And from here, we're not able to select an element with a class of output because it doesn't exist yet. So what we can do is we can wrap this within an event so within the document itself, we can add an event listener to the entire document, listening for whenever the document is loaded. And that's gonna be listening for the DOM content loaded event. And here we can initiate a function that can then run whenever the DOM content has fully loaded. And this is our way to, to fix the issue where we weren't able to select the page elements. And now it doesn't actually matter where we place the JavaScript file as the code is only gonna run once the page has finished loading. So similar to what we see when we are looking at the document body load event, waiting for the document body to fully load. Body loaded. And here within the document DOM, DOM content loaded, because the JavaScript code has been moved above where the current page is, we're not able to access the document body. JavaScript down, the document body on load, because the DOM content has loaded, and once the DOM content has loaded, we can select the body and run the on load method. So what's gonna run first is the DOM content loaded. We can see that within the console where we've got the doc DOM ready. And then afterwards, once the DOM has loaded, the document body is then loading. And once that page element loads, we can run this block of code where we're currently outputting into the console body on load. So the one to use is the DOM content loaded as this is gonna be the best way to track whenever your page is ready to be interacted with with JavaScript code.